Hey guys, it's me, Jello Pineda, your middle class sneakerhead, and welcome back to another episode of the vlog. Today's video, we are going to compare the 997H and the 997S, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for checking on this video today, guys. And I do hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Kung bago ka rito, please make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. And if matagal ka na rito, tol, thank you so much for sticking with me. Alright, so gagawin ko ng Tagalog to kasi the last two videos, yung rev official review nitong 997H and official review nitong 997S are both in English para just in case merong ibang lahi na nagahanap ng review. Ginawa kong English yun. Pagpasensyaan nyo na, medyo ang hirap talaga maging English, bro. Solid. With this comparison, syempre, ano din, kumbaga yung personal thought ko din on the sneaker and uh, yun tignan natin ko ano yung mga magiging difference niya so again ito mga to uh, na pick up ko sa ano to sa sneak peek for 50% off so dalawa ang kinuha ko parang retail price ng isa parang dalawa ang makuha mo so why not and of course kumuha pa, kinuha ko pa rin is the same color which is gray kasi again para sa akin ang uh, gray colorways ng mga New Balance is yung parang pinaka staple nila na colorway kasi parang yun talaga yun parang signature colorway ng New Balance eh so actually yung totoo niyan yung hinahanap ko talaga is the 997H kasi ang ganda niya sleeker design um, although ito naman kasi dahil kinuha ko rin dahil si Alfonso meron din siya so parang at least medyo twinning kami some sort although tinignan ko marami talaga silang differences although they look very similar okay they look very similar pero marami rin silang um, ano marami rin silang uh, pinagkaiba. So, let's go ahead and check kung ano mga differences nila and tignan mo or comment down below kung sa palagay niyo ano ang mas worth it na bilhin. Alright, so let's start on the toe box. Actually, on the toe box right there, if you can see. Ayan. Uh, okay, so the toe box dito sa 997H and sa 997 Sport. Actually, parehas lang. Oh, actually, guys, colorway-wise, mas light gray to than ito. Ito more of the darker gray. Ito lighter gray. So, considerably uh, okay din silang ano. Okay din na uh, alam yun. Mag, meron kang magkaibang shade of gray. Sa suede, makikita natin guys na magkaiba sila. Ayan. Magkaiba sila ng mas mas premium ang suede nitong 997. Pero mas longer haired suede ang 9. Although, I can be wrong. Parang parehas lang talaga sila. Toe box nila is that nylon uh, mesh. Okay, so when I say nylon mesh, makikita mo may konti siyang shine. Hindi siya yung normal lang na mesh na matte finish. Ito ay may konting shine to it. So ito, meron siyang leather. Okay, for added reinforcement and stability. So ang leather nito ay synthetic. Sa 997 Sport, then yung sa 997H na medyo ano, tumbled yung leather niya. As you can see right there. Okay. The 997H has white laces. And the 997 Sport has gray laces. Um, same form lang sila. Same lang din yung texture. It's just the same different colors lang sila. Ngayon, as we move to the medial side ng sneaker, guys, makikita natin dito na um, this one has uh, a gray N or logo. This one has white. Okay, pero I think both are reflective. Actually, ang reflective nitong 997 Sport ay itong liner niya sa likod. As you can see there, meron siyang extra ano sa likod. So, yun yung parang 3M. While this one right here, yung N mismo, is yung parang reflective niya. Yup, it is reflective. So, ayan. So, reflective ang N or yung logo ng New Balance dito sa side. Ito naman. Okay, just as I suspected, yung liner nito sa likod, ito yung may 3M, hindi yung actual na N. Itong 997, meron siyang plastic TPU malapit sa ankle area. This one, mukha siyang meron, pero it's just part of the leather. Parang ganun yung pagkakaprint ng leather niya. So that right here is leather, this one is plastic. Inside the sneaker, 997 each has white in uh, white sock liner while this one comes in gray. Inside the sneaker, this one has gray, uh, gray insole, this one has... Uh, white outsole at mas malaki ang text ng 997S than yung 997H. Alright, so on the back of the sneaker, so the 997H features New Balance or NB print or uh, embossed na or embroidered stitching dito sa likod while this one remains clean and just comes with um, that uh, parang mesh. Actually, pare lang naka-glossy or naka-nylon na mesh. Now, when it comes to the plastic TPU heel cup, ito mararamdaman mo talaga yung heel cup niya. Ito. 
to siya. In, even if hawakan mo sa loob, mararamdaman mo na talagang stable ang ride mo with this sneaker. Ayan. So, pero ito, this is uh, hard plastic or TPU. This one is end cap. Okay? So, malambot siya. Okay? Pero it protrudes uh, at the back of the sneaker. Now, on the midsole. Okay, so let's start off with the 997H. The 997H features dual density end cap midsole. Okay, so parang lightweight na ground control EVA foam sole technology that uh, improves shock absorption. So, hindi siya yung sobrang squishy, pero alam mo yung may malambot pa rin talaga siya. So, parang dalawa siyang midsoles na pinagsama. As you can see, meron siyang parang divider dito. Kaya nga siya dual density kasi parang dalawang materials na pinagsama sa isa. Alright? And as well as yung New Balance na logo dito na naka-embossed and the NB logo here on the medial side. Dito naman sa ano, 997 Sport, ito mas ano to, mas kakaiba to kasi this one um, has the end cap reveal technology which is this one right here. Dito sa may bandang sole uh, or uh, dito sa may bandang heel area. And the whole, uh, the whole midsole is made out of the Absorb technology. The Absorb cushioning in the, in the midfoot for maximum support, durability, and exceptional shock absorption. Itong end cap reveal, naka, and ito yung parang nag-encapsulate dito sa midsole. Pero alam mo, ang lambot nito guys. So, ang lambot niya. Tsaka, hindi siya yung sobrang squishy. Pero talagang naramdaman ko yung habang nagalakad ako. Talaga na, alam mo yung shock absorption talaga siya. Kasi alam mo naman when you walk and you do that heel strike, talagang maram, minsan maramdaman mo talaga eh. So with this, it does really work. Pero again, with energy return, hindi masyado. Parang hindi ko masyado naramdaman na yung mapapabounce back ka kagad. Pero it does absorb uh, yung, ano mo, yung heel strikes mo. Now this one has the motion device or ang tawag dito? Motion control device. This one does not have, okay. But on the mid, on the outsole, mas nag-enjoy ako sa outsole ni tong 997s, kasi mas marami siyang traction rubber. Ngayon, this one right here on the 997h, it only comes on the forefoot and on the um, on the heel area. Then the rest is just pure foam. Kung ako tatanungin mo ano ba yung kikipu sa dalawa, actually well yung dalawa kikipu ko naman. Pero Kung when it comes sa vibe, sa forma and sa comfort, both panalo. Wala akong masabi. Sobrang gusto ko sila. Um, it's just that when it comes nga sa how you, kung paano sila popormahan, magkaiba sila ng vibe, to be honest. So this one provides that parang medyo 9, parang 990V, 5V4-ish look ang 997 na to. Medyo dad shoe uh, yung datingan niya. Yung mga classic dad shoe na medyo, ano, medyo... Uh, panaro yung dito sa toe box niya. Unlike ito na ano sila na talaga ma makita mo medyo bulky siya. I can actually compare this with the uh, Puma RSX na na silhouette kasi with that ano with that bulk na makikita mo although kumbaga parang dad shoe pa rin naman siya but a futuristic look to the to the sneaker. Uh, color wise this one is more of the grayish greenish uh, some sort of uh, uh, color. This one is just straight out gray. Uh, okay. And then, uh, kumbaga parang on lighter days, ito on medyo darker, uh, parang ito. Fit wise, I got a size 11 dito. Not because that's, well, aside sa fact na yun na lang ang size na natitira na 997 age. But dahil mas sleeker version siya and I am more on the wide foot uh, or wide side, um, nung finit ko ang size 11, sakto lang ang 11 sa akin. Or not really. Kung baga may space. Pero dahil kasi pa-flat kasi yung dito niya sa toe box eh. So, uh, ang size 11 ay so, maganda lang ang fit sa akin. While on the other hand, the 997 Sport. This one is a size 10. My true to size. And as you can see here, more on the wide foot. And it has more room inside. And uh, that's why mas pasok sa akin ang ano dito. Tinry ko rin na size 11 na to. But unfortunately, sobrang laki talaga siya. So talagang this one really fits big or is true to size. This one fits small so I suggest going, you know, a half size up or a full size up on the 997H. But of course, I can be wrong. It would depend on your feet ko ano mas prefer mo. Uh, magkaiba yung cushioning nila. So magkaiba yung experience. Uh, ito mas more firm uh, ride uh, for the whole day. Ito mas uh, shock absorption or med medyo squishy. Uh, to some point, pero hindi wala siyang energy return, in my opinion. Pero, overall, again, aesthetic-wise, magkaiba yung vibe na pinoprovide nila. 
and that's why alam mo sobrang sulit parang sobrang steel deal you like paying retail price for you know to get two sneakers so why not although durability wise i'm not sure yet pero we know naman na alam mo yun, new balance medyo durable ang sneakers niyan actually actually the 574 is one of the most durable sneakers uh, i think eto ni regalo to ni boss rd shout out sa boss rd thank you for this and uh, all, it does feature end cap midsoles pero alam mo yung feeling mo kasi dahil durable yung alam mo yun, durable yung mga uh, new balance yung pagkakagawa nila is robust and that's why i do think na ito yung mga sneakers na talagang tumatagal glad to have uh, these sneakers and of course if you are looking for solid beaters yung mga tipong beaters na talaga hindi mo panghihinayangan kasi mura lang sila and then number 2 they are comfortable they are not as comfortable as boost we all not hindi rin sila parang react na midsole na yung mga yon provides um, energy return talaga uh, ito mga to hindi ito yung mga normal mong sneakers na gagamitin na hindi mo pag-iisipan kung masisira or hindi kasi parang again durable and very comfortable sneakers in my opinion so Anyways, I do think that will wrap it up for the comparison video of the 997H and the 997 Sport. Okay, and then, uh, by the way, if you didn't know, H stands for Hypothesis. Okay, 997H stands for Hypothesis. 997S stands for Sport. So, okay, ngayon ko lang din nalaman, nag-research lang din ako. Anyways, maraming maraming salamat for checking on this video. And kung napansin mo, mas lively talaga ako mag-vlog ng Tagalog kesa English. Grabe ang hirap mag-English. But, syempre, we are trying our best para makakuha tayo ng other audiences from other countries. If you like this video, please go ahead and smash that like button dito sa baba. Hindi lang niya matutulungan na dumami yung likes ng video na to. Kundi matutulungan din niya yung algorithm na i-alok yung video na to sa ibang tao na naghahanap ng review videos ng dalawang sneakers na to. So anyways, maraming maraming salamat for checking on this video. Again, kung bago ka dito, please make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. And if matagal ka rito tol, thank you so much for your support. I totally appreciate you. And as always, maraming maraming salamat for checking on this video. And I shall see you on the next one. Peace guys.